The story I'm about to share is one of the most famous ghost stories you'll learn if you visit South Africa. It was a Good Friday, April 12th, 1968, when Mikhail Giel Oberholzer, a 22-year Air Force Lieutenant, and Maria Ria Charlotte Rue, a 22-year-old administrative clerk, were traveling to Riverdale from Pretoria to discuss their wedding plans with Ria's parents. For context, this was about a 14-hour drive, excluding stops. Unfortunately, their Volkswagen Beetle was veered off course by a strong gust of wind while Ria was sleeping in the back seat. Guile lost control of the vehicle and it overturned near the Baranda's turnoff around 20 kilometers from Uniondale. Ria was thrown out of the car and her head tragically struck the embankment. She died instantly. Although Guile survived the accident, he suffered severe injuries. The first officer at the crash was Pat McDonald. He found a girl's body lying lifeless against an embankment. Pat described her as short stature, bearing dark hair with dark green shorts and wearing a coat. She was later confirmed to be Maria Rue. Shortly after, Maria was buried in Riversdale Cemetery, where her grave remains. One year after the tragic accident, Guile married another woman. Some suggest that Ria's spirit was unsettled when to her fiancé moved on. Others also believe that since Ria was asleep during the accident, she remains unaware of her death, and she continues her search for her fiancé, or a way home to share the news about her upcoming marriage with her parents. One of the remarkable sightings of a young woman resembling Ria occurred on May 1st, 1976, Good Friday. Anton Lagrange was driving from Willowmore towards Uniondale when he spotted a woman standing by the road. He described her as having dark hair, a pale face, and dressed in a dark coat and trousers. It was around 7.15 p.m. and it was getting cold, so he stopped the car and offered her a lift. Anton asked her where she was headed, and she replied, Porter Street 2, Delange. After driving a few miles, he realized the woman had vanished. Shocked, Anton made his way to Uniondale Police Station to report the incident. The sergeant on duty, Cornelius Snowy Potgitter, followed him back up the road to try and find her. This is when the story got crazier. As the officer drove behind Anton's car, he witnessed the right rear door slow open and close by itself, as if someone got out. Upon stopping their car, Snowy recollected hearing the strangest loud sound that he couldn't discern whether it was a scream or laughter. Feeling disturbed, both of them hurriedly retreated back to Uniondale, where it's reported that Snowy closed the police station for that night. The following morning, around 8 a.m., he asked Officer Pat if he could recall the young woman who had tragically lost her life in a car crash a few years prior. There, Snowy came to the chilling revelation that Anton had seen the ghost of Maria Rue that night. In the pursuit of verifying facts, a journalist, Janie Meyer, obtained a photograph of Maria from her mother. She then presented it to Anton with a selection of other photographs of women. Anton was able to recognize Maria as the girl he had stopped and given a ride. There were no more sightings of her for a while. But hold on. Again, at around 9.35 p.m. on a Good Friday of 1978, Corporal Dawi van Jarsveld was on his motorbike traveling towards Uniondale on the N9 when he noticed a young woman dressed in dark pants and a sweater standing by the side of the road. Dawi stopped to offer her a lift. He handed her a spare helmet and earphones to use as she listened to the same music he did. She took both of the pieces and sat behind him. Darwin recounts, I asked her to please hold tight around my waist so that I can feel if something goes wrong. Barely a kilometre or two, he noticed that the bike twitched and thought she had fallen off. He glanced over his shoulder and was shocked to find that his passenger had vanished. Darwi doubled back on his motorcycle to see if she had fallen off, but found no one. To his surprise, he noticed the spare helmet had returned to its place on his luggage rack. At that moment, Darwi knew he had picked up something he shouldn't have. Since that incident, nobody has worn the helmet again, 
including his girlfriend, who adamantly declined to put it on again. Investigator Cynthia Hind, who was working on the case at the time, confirmed that Doi was traumatized. He had indeed seen something that night. Further verifying his account, another investigator, David Barrett, affirmed that Doi had identified the ghostly hitchhiker as Maria Rue. Our story is not over yet. The final part might probably give you goosebumps. On Good Friday 1980, Andre Coetzee, a 20-year-old motorcyclist, had a disturbing encounter while riding along the N9. He was searching for a friend who he thought might have run out of petrol on that deserted road. As he was riding, he felt an unseen presence put its arms around his waist from behind. He was consumed by fear and felt an urgent need to escape from that location. That's when he sped up to around 100 kilometers per H. Suddenly, he felt three sharp blows to his head, and then the presence simply vanished. He didn't see anyone standing by the road or anything of the sort. Andre sought help at the nearby cafe in Uniondale, visibly shaken. As he regained his speech, the cafe owner Janetta Meyer realized he had encountered the ghost woman. Since then, numerous unverified sightings have been reported, all involving a young female hitchhiker on the lonely stretch between Uniondale and Willowmore. She accepts rides, then mysteriously vanishes a few kilometers later. Some drivers have reported car doors opening and closing, laughter, a sudden drop in temperature, and the lingering scent of apple blossoms when she disappears. In 1984, the sightings of her abruptly ceased. This coincided with the death of her fiancé, Guile, who tragically also died in a car accident. The residents of Uniondale speculate that his death finally brought peace to Rhea's restless spirit. So there you have it. The ghost of Uniondale is one of the popular stories you might learn if you visit this part of South Africa. A movie was even made about it in 2014 that was shot in Willowmore. In case you visit and drive on the N9, you never know what you might encounter, but the best thing to do is ignore and drive away. But if Maria decides to ride with you uninvited, it means she wants you to remember her forever. <laughs>